There are certain plants that you can overwinter that are much easier than others. Eggplant is a very good example of this, as well as pepper plant. Now the reason why you would choose to overwinter a pepper plant or an eggplant is because they are tropical plants and in most areas of North America they will die whenever the frost or cold weather hits. And they do take a long time to grow. They usually have two or three uh, cycles during the growing season where they produce fruit. So by overwintering it, you're getting a jump start because you've already got a plant established when you put it in the ground next spring when the weather is accurable and, and it's the correct time. You've climatized or you've uh, made sure you hardy the plant off. So here's some steps on how to overwinter a pepper plant and I'll talk about some of the ways in which you can store it indoors in order to get the best optimal success in surviving over the winter and bringing it out in the spring. So the first thing we want to do is uh, this has got a lot of peppers on it. This is not, these are green, so they're not ripe. This is a tequila sunrise pepper. And what we have found is they get very yellowish orange and they're extremely much sweeter than a bell pepper, even at the bell peppers most ripest. So we'll get any fruit that's fell off there. And I'm going to put it in a, about an eight inch pot here. You can use any type of container, but you want to have a good space for the roots. And I'll explain why that is in a minute. So we want to dig a very large hole here to try to get as much roots as possible and because we've got loose soil this is going to be um, more difficult or more difficult <clears throat> because the roots have grown uh, far away from the plant the stalk of the plant is right here so trying to loosen all of this up and then we'll pull the plant out now you can store this you can take this inside and put it in the basement it's going to be a cooler you know cool basement with a window so you can get some light a lot of the leaves if not all the leaves will die off of this but you want to keep the soil damp not wet and not dry because you're wanting this, to, this pepper plant to go into dormancy basically look like it's dead but it's not really dead that's one way you can overwinter it and different articles and gardeners indicate that the hotter the pepper for some reason the more success rate it is for overwintering it in that method. Another way you could overwinter this is we'll put it in this container and you can set it by a sunny window. And that's one way to do it. It's gonna go into shock again. It may not produce anything or some, but on a much slower pace than it would outside. You can also put it underneath a grow light, whether LED or tube, and let it kind of go and grow in that cycle. Same thing, uh, it will produce some and it will go into shock here once we, so that's, we'll go into shock. So that's the root system. I did cut off some roots, but overall I think it will come back. And one thing, and if you have an indoor grow unit or grow station or system that's set up, you can put that inside of that particular unit. And that's what we're gonna do. So one thing that worked out well here is we've got most of the soil off the roots. Smaller root ball than I expected, and I do know there is some roots down there, but that's past due. I can't do anything about it. So what, I, what you wanna do, you just don't wanna put garden soil in a container, bring it inside, because there's a lot of bugs that once the soil warms up to the indoor ambient temperature, they will either come back out of dormancy, they will hatch a lot of things, you gotta have a lot of bugs. So what you wanna do, is you wanna find some potting soil or pottingless mix or if you have compost, you can bake that compost to kill a lot of those bad insects and use that. So I'm gonna do a base here of a couple inches, and this is just a vermiculite, perlite, uh, some certified leaf compost, as well as some peat moss and some slow release fertilizer. And that's important as well. Now I'm gonna take the pepper plant and I'm gonna bury it farther, I'm gonna bury it deeper than what it was in the garden simply for stability reasons. Uh, there are not gonna be any more roots put on this, but it'll be fine. So add some more soil. It helps if you have a helping hand, but not all of us have that. So I'm gonna put that like that. Now, if you have a pepper already in a container, you want to extract the plant from the container and do the same steps of removing that outside soil and putting fresh soil on it for the same reasons. Bugs, insects uh, will come alive inside the house. So you can leave it in a container 
it will go into shock here, most likely drop some of the leaves, but you want to keep it moist if you're putting in a grow room, if you're going under a grow light, if you're by a window, you can add some moisture to it, but if you're going to try to make it go into dormancy in the basement next to a, uh, some ambient low light conditions, you want to back off in the water, let it be damp, slightly moist, but not wet. So some of those steps, and there's a lot of great articles online that help in great detail on how to overwinter pepper plants, and this is how we're doing ours.